Want to strengthen your pelvic floor and have longer and stronger orgasms? Say hi to Kegel Balls. Hey everybody, welcome to ATMS TV. I'm Emma from Adult Toy Megastore and this is Doing It, the series where I teach you all about how to get down with your sex toys. And in this episode, I'm gonna teach you how to choose the right Kegel Ball for you. To start with, I'll just mention that although I am referring to them as Kegel balls in this episode, um, I'm actually referring to all manner of Kegel exercises. So that includes Kegel balls, Love Balls, Benoit Balls and Duro Tone Balls as well. So although they have these different names, they all really work in the same way in that they work to strengthen your pelvic floor or as some people call them, your PC muscles. The pelvic floor is really important. So this is basically a group of interweaving muscles that connect to support your bladder, your rectum, your small intestines. And over time, as we age, these muscles can become looser and things like pregnancy and also childbirth can actually quicken this process. Um, if this does happen, then it can result in prolapse or incontinence over time. So not only can a strong pelvic floor help with all of these issues, but it can also give you longer and stronger orgasms too. Yay! Um, so a strong pelvic floor actually increases blood flow to the whole genital region. So this makes you feel more sensitive, it can make you more receptive to touch, and it can make your orgasms feel stronger and last longer too. Now let's take a look at how to choose the right Kegel ball for you. So first up, you need to think about the style of the Kegel ball. And there are a few different types available that all work in slightly different ways. First up is a single ball. So these are great for first timers. Just being the one ball means that it's really easy to insert and also to remove when you're finished. Next up is a double ball. So this is very similar to the first one, but it just has the two balls here instead. Um, again, this is still nice and easy to insert and remove. However, there is just a bit more fullness inside the body due to the wider area. Lastly, there are double balls with outer connector. So these are for more advanced users. Um, being that there's two balls individually, they're a little bit more difficult to insert and they can be slippery little suckers when you try to remove them as well. The next thing you need to think about is the size and weight of the balls you're using. So although they don't always look like there's that much of a difference, even the slightest little difference in size and weight can have a big impact on how you use the toy. The bigger the ball is, the easier it is to hold in place inside you. This is just because your muscles will naturally hold onto it once inserted. But the same is also the case with a lighter ball. So as a rule, when you're just starting out, go for a bigger and lighter option. And as you get stronger, you can work your way up to a heavier but smaller option as it's just more difficult to keep in place. If you're new to Kegel balls, then you just wanna start out with using them for about 15 minutes every day and build up your strength from there. So anytime you get a little break, just pop them in, walk around the house, just do whatever you would normally do and just hold those things tight. Something else to consider is the material. So this will have a big impact on the weight of the ball, but it also has a big impact on body safety. So this is something that you're gonna be inserting inside your body quite frequently as you train. So you wanna make sure that you are using an option that is body safe, non-porous, and able to be completely sterilized in between uses. Silicon is really good for this. Um, it's nice and light too. So if you are a beginner, a silicon option might be great for you. And as you can work yourself up to something a little heavier, you might also want to to consider glass or some sort of aluminium or steel. You also wanna think about your ability to upgrade to a heavier weight. So some sets will actually come with a set of lighter weights and then a heavier set as well, which you can progress to as your body becomes stronger. This is a set from Ovo that's actually really cool because the little plastic balls that are in here now can actually be switched out for a heavier weight. That means that you can go two light balls or as you get stronger, you can go one light ball and one heavier ball. And then as you get even stronger, you can swap them both out to a set of the two heavier options. And it's all in the one set, you don't need to buy two. While Kegel balls are really good for strengthening your pelvic floor, they can also feel pleasurable too if you get the right set. So there are some options that have little moving balls inside them, so like these ones, and they'll actually jingle inside you if you decide to move around while you're wearing them, and they can provide a little bit of pleasure up against the internal walls of the vagina. Another option is a vibrating option. So while you need to use your muscles to hold them in place, you also get a vibrating sensation inside, and it's basically just like a vibrator. The most important thing to remember is that training your pelvic floor is really like training any other muscle of your body. Uh, it's a marathon, not a sprint. So make sure that you start large and light and only work your way up to those smaller, heavier balls when you've built up some strength. 
Thanks for tuning in to Doing It. If you want to make sure you never miss another video, subscribe to the channel and we'll see you again soon. Bye. First up is a single ball. So this is ideal for first timers. Um, just being the one will... <laughs> Damn, I'm losing the plot.